Hey guys, welcome back to the cabin. Uh, just out for a couple nights with the with the dog. Uh, nothing too much uh, planned for this uh, this particular trip. Uh, I got some good food with me. Um, just planning to hang out. A few chores and tasks I'd like to work on. Maybe make a shelf, split some more wood. Um, I do want to do a scouting mission for uh, some posts for um, a, kind of a makeshift fence. But uh, really not much planned. Just going to want to spend the time and relax. I got all the amenities that I want, you know, like a tablet and speaker and music and food and everything I could ever want. Uh, I think that's what the cabin was originally built for, is just a place to come and relax. So that's the plan. And the dog looks like uh, she's settled in quite well. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully two nights and three days, but you never know, things change. So yeah, I got a few more things to ferry up. Uh, unfortunately, when you do these kinds of things, sometimes you get a little carried away and bring a little too much stuff. So I got to make a couple more trips and uh, then we'll uh, get squared away. I'll show you show you around the cabin, a couple more changes since the last video. And uh, yeah, and we'll go from there. Talk to you in a bit. There we go. All set up. Hey, buddy. What? What is it? Yep, that's pretty much it for now, guys. You see the Coleman. Well, the camera's right on the Coleman right now. Got my barbecue out. Hoping to do a barbecue steak. Uh, I bought two uh, AAA Angus beef steaks. Uh, they were on sale. And the reason is on the island, uh, Labor Day weekend's pretty much it for tourism season. And I bet you they had a huge leftover stock. Thought they were going to blow it out over the long weekend, and they didn't. So they got at least probably 30 40% off uh, bone in. Uh, I think it's going to be fair quality steak compared to what I'm used to. Pretty excited about that, so I'm going to barbecue that up. Uh, probably have some potatoes with it and some garlic butter and yeah, real basic, nothing too special. Uh, that's on the menu tonight, and then after that, I'm you know pretty much chilling. There's really not a lot to do. I'm gonna putter around a bit, and oh, you know what I should do is I should show you some of the things inside. There's just a couple small things that I've, I've uh, added on, uh, really minor, but the light's not great, so I'll do the best I can, and we'll go from there, but. Yeah, so everything's uh, everything's all set. So I'm gonna sit back and relax a little bit and go ahead and sit for two.
Okay, so one of the things I built for this wood rack, uh, basically leftover materials from building my countertop, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, real simple design, uh, just a, a base at the bottom, keeps it off the ground, so if it is damp or anything like that, it's not going to be an issue. And plus, if the uh, wood chips fall to the ground, it's easy to just pick it up, sweep it, and move it. Uh, I created an angular shelf for here because of the varying lengths of kindling. Uh, and that way I can kind of mess with it and make it sit a little bit better so I get more room out of it. Um, there's also a space in between so as the kindling gets shuffled around, the dirty bits basically, or the bark and the chips, all fall through onto here and as this gets used it trickles down and then it all gets swept up afterwards. It's not fastened into the wall by any means. Um, from what I can tell this looks like an excellent amount of wood for one night, uh, maybe probably even two nights depending on the time of year. So. I'm extremely happy how it turned out. It looks great. It's a nice uh, touch to the cabin and it keeps everything a little tidier. Whereas last winter I didn't have anything like this inside. So I was just piling it up on the floor and making a mess. So I'm very happy with it. Um, again, it's all materials that have been saved from other projects or other things I've been doing. So uh, I have a counter now. Uh, this is all salvaged material as well, except for some of the frame. Um, I have a sink basin in here. Now, I don't have a drain for it yet, but I'm going to attach a hose and have a drain out the side of the cabin. It's going to be soap water and odds and ends, so it's not going to be uh, too bad. I'll probably switch to a biodegradable soap, so it's a little better on the environment. The only thing left to do is the uh, doors and the sides. Not a big deal. Uh, I might get to it by the, by the beginning of winter. Might not. I don't know. Like uh, Life has been up and down, so we will see. Again, I'm very happy with it all. Uh, the whole place right now is getting really cozy, really snug, lots of light to let in. I can batten down the hatches, so to speak, to keep the heat in. Uh, just, you know, with the insulation and everything, the attic for storage. Uh, the other day I, I cleaned out everything to get this organized and then, you know, put anything extra up in the attic so I could save it for maybe next year or, you know, the dog's bed's up there, so I might have to get that later. Um, so, yeah, everything's everything's been really great. So. Uh, really uh, enjoyed the last couple months trying to put these last few elements together. I mean, there's still tons more work to do. There's so many other little projects, but it's definitely, you know, coming together, it's starting to be one unit. A few more small details, and I think we're going to be pretty good. So, Oh, you know what we should do? We should go outside. I should show you the uh, wood storage rack. It's probably been in a couple shots already, but, you know, might as well go out and uh, have a look at it, and I'll give, give, you, a, give you a little tour of that as well. Okay, so this is a storage rack. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, it's built in with two pallets at the bottom to keep airflow below so the wood stays dry. It's not sitting on the wet ground during the winter and the summer. Um, I got one inch OSB on the top, which I salvaged from a job site. It's thick and it's heavy and it's robust. Uh, it's quite weathered already. Uh, I hope to put some shingles on it. Maybe not this year, but probably next year. Uh, like I said, it's one inch, so it's pretty, pretty durable, so I don't think it'll be an issue over this winter. Um, I still have to finish the sides. There's still triangular pieces I'd like to add in, but for now I think we're good for snow and, and a little bit of rain. Uh, in the front, it's a roughly about five feet of clearance, and in the back, it's roughly about four feet of clearance. Uh, I have about a cord, cord and a half wood over there. I'm hoping to get three quarters, if not all, of a cord in here. Well, that uh, pretty much wraps it up for the new stuff. There's not really much else to show you. Uh, you've seen most of it already. I think uh, the summer is just pretty much at an end. This is the early part of September. Um, I'm really extremely happy with all the progress that's been made. Um, I've done quite a bit again in a short amount of time. And uh, I've been ultra busy outside of this, these projects, so I'm surprised I've kind of gotten as far as I have. Um, a lot of fortune has, has shined on, on me in terms of materials and having the ability to do this. Uh, now I'm hitting kind of a rough patch so that everything's going to slow down coming into the fall. So the point of this trip is not to actually do a whole lot of work, it was more relax and enjoy it. Last year I had to wait till like November, December before I could even really, really sit down and enjoy, you know, having the cabin period. So, and obviously I'm much better prepared. I have more firewood, it's less scarcity in that regard. Um, still got another couple months of drying at least too maybe into November if I can, and then uh, I'm just debating now when to transfer the wood into that shelter. Uh, you know, I want to get it done, but at the same time, well, I want to get it done before it snow, the snow falls, but at the same time, I want to dry as much as it can. It's only been about 
oh, I don't know, four months since I split it. Um, pretty small pieces, so it should be fairly dry. I think I might grab one of the bigger guys and give her a whack with the axe to see how it's doing. And But for the most part, it's uh, it's doing all right. It's not too bad. The, the softwood beside it is definitely dried a lot. Um, it's it's just, I don't know, the spruce seems to go a little quicker than, than the hardwood, of course. And, and uh, I don't have a problem with that. And that's just going to act as kindling uh, slash, you know, supplemental wood. So say, maybe I don't need a roaring fire uh, through the evening or I don't need um, a roaring fire through the day. I just need to kind of maintain. Maybe that's what I'll throw in, like good sized pieces of those and let them burn kind of slow over time. But I'm not really sure. That's just, it's just bonus wood at this time. And then I got all that other spruce over there that, that I collected that can't split yet. I think it needs to dry for another couple months and then uh, a friend of mine told me to uh, try and split it in the dead of winter because it's, it's colder it'll split really well so I'm thinking um, I'll try one or the other I'll let it dry for another couple months if it still doesn't split well then I'll uh, end up uh, end up waiting until the dead of winter and then just really go at it real hard yeah other than that uh, I got a couple pallets here I have to uh, to chop up, I brought my uh, skill saw, my portable skill saw, and I brought all my tools and stuff just in case a project or two came up. Um, like I said, I'm going to build some shelves. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. Might do it tonight. Might do it tomorrow. Not really sure. I'm um, just kind of playing this as I go. It's still fairly early in the day. It's probably only like four o'clock or so. So I'm not really uh, pressed to do it. I thought I might grab the dog and take a walk up yonder and start looking at uh, some trees for later. Um, maybe uh, maybe kind of scout out what kind of trees I want to get like uh, I'll definitely probably get another birch and then a couple other hardwoods and then maybe some more spruce it's definitely turning into a nice place to hang out and do not a whole lot of anything most days but then on having said that I mean I do a lot of stuff all the time out here I never stop usually so I'm gonna take full advantage of this right now and maybe the first time if I do make it the first time I spent two nights in a row here without actually having to go back and resupply and do all that noise. So, yeah, it should be interesting and should be. I have my pre cut sides around about four feet, and then I have one foot three inches of shelving. That's kind of how the map worked out. So, I wanted three full shelves, and then the Top plate could be a shelf as well, doesn't really matter. It's all going to be inside, there's not going to be a top and bottom. I know you're probably supposed to do the top and bottom, and I probably could have, but I didn't think that far ahead. So, we're, here we are. And I sh it would have been way easier to do it that way. I understand there's probably carpenters out there going, What the hell are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just making this stuff up as I go along. I always do. I'm just trying to find a happy medium between what I want and what you're really supposed to do. <laughs> um, and oftentimes that does not work out in my favor, but uh, clearly I've done something right because I haven't died a horrible death and all my structures are still standing. So we'll go with that. One inch, and four inches. Now, if that is not enough in the long run, I can always do an extra hole later on. So this should get us where we need to go. This is the kind of thing I wish I had more patience for. I really uh, I really don't, to be honest with you. I just want shit done. That's, uh, that's really where it's at. I just want shit done. You know, just not really uh, too picky about it. I don't want to go all the way through. I just want to go about three quarters of the way through. Now I could have gone a little deeper with those holes, but the reality is, is that I did not want to go so deep because especially at the ends here, you could uh, split the wood. It's very possible. I've done it a thousand times and I've tried to hide all my mistakes over time. Some successfully and some not. So yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So I am going to try, this is, uh, this is such a bad idea. So I'm going to tack in a couple nails uh, up here and then I'm going to attempt to take the shelf 
and then connect it that way. Then I'm going to try and do it on the same side, and then I'm going to try and get the top piece on it. This will be a miracle if this works without me breaking something or screwing it up. So here we go. Okay, so uh, I've changed my mind. I've got uh, I've got these extra holes here. Uh, they're about a foot apart, but I, do, I just don't like the spacing. Like it's going to be more like this. I just feel like that I needed a little more room. So this is not the end of the world. It's not a great thing, but it's not a bad thing. Okay, that's her. Not two shafts. I mean, it's in. It's uh. It's weird looking. Just this whole carpentry thing. It's not my thing, yo. I just. I wish I was better at it, but I just. I don't know. I don't know. But this will do just fine. I'm actually pretty happy with it overall, and uh, I think it's going to do a great job. Sitting in the cabin. Let's go find a home for it. Well, I don't really have much to uh, put on there right at this moment. I guess I guess I could put my little speaker up here too for music and stuff. I mean, I, as I get books and things like that, I can put that up there. Um, yeah, it's all good. So as far as I understand, this is going to go for quite a while to basically white coals. So I'm going to let it go as long as humanly possible. Um, I've been really impatient in the past trying to want to you know, cook something a little earlier. So I'm going to give this a really long time and not until I really feel like the coals are really inundated. Then I'm going to spread them out and then I'm going to cook something. We're going to cook this really slowly. I don't care how it turns out, as long as it's cooked reasonably. Um, it's not a very thick steak, but it's quite cool, so it's not going to cook to the center as quickly, so I'll have to take my time. But you know what? At the end of the day, I like a good, hard, crisp crust and a char, so I think this is going to work out my favorite. Everything's cooking. It's doing really, really well. Puppy dog's looking really excited right now. Uh, the steak, I'm going to take my time. I'm not rushing. I'd like to have a good, hard, crispy crust. I know, buddy. I know. Easy. You'll have good times here shortly. Um, yeah, so the potatoes are boiling. I'm just going to put those in some butter, margarine, whatever. And uh, when the steak is done, I'm going to let it rest for five to ten minutes. And then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But it's, so far, it looks great. Uh, you can just smell the smoke from the charcoal. I'm trying to think of something else to do, but I didn't really bring a lot. It was a really impromptu trip, so. It smells really nice. Really nice. Like steak. Zoom, buddy. Zoom. Not a lot of room on the deck. Wish I'd uh, made a larger deck, but the reality is, is that you know you only have so many materials, so much time, so much money, and. Uh, this works out. It's just a little tough when you're trying to squeeze a couple people on it.
Need I say anything? Tender, soft, juicy, done, but not well, well done. With a crispy exterior, with a slight char. Anyways, you're probably already sick of watching me eat this. And this is just fantastic, by the way. So I'm going to hang up the old uh, camera for a little while. Enjoy my steak and uh, got a fire going so I can uh, definitely sit back and relax. We'll touch back later when uh, when I'm all done and kind of straighten around and we'll go from there. That was an absolutely killer steak. Oh, so good. Uh, yeah, that was just the best way to possibly do it. I think tomorrow, instead of pan frying, which is what I plan to do, I think I'm going to actually barbecue it again because that was just absolutely brilliant. I think I'm going to go through the exact same process. and It's just a beautiful steak. It's tender, juicy, and moist. And it was almost like you couldn't overcook it. Like you, like I left it on there a long time, but it was just lots of moisture. And I think adding the butter at the end really helped a lot because it gave back a little bit of moisture just as it burnt in the crust. You know, everybody's different. Everybody likes their steak a little different. I'm telling you, that was pretty awesome with the potatoes. And yeah, I think I'm going to go for gold tomorrow. So, Anyways, I'm going to get this fire stoked up and get it going again. Nice and comforting. Get cleaned up. I got some uh, water on the boil there. Got to get some dishes done chores of the cabin I guess eh and uh, take old puppers for a walk and go from there but should be a great night it's supposed to rain I think but hopefully it holds off and then we'll have some adventures tomorrow and we'll go from there